Hello guys, uh, welcome to Test Automation Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to implement uh, a robot framework in real time. So let's get started. So the first step is uh, to create the folder structure. Let's open uh, PyCharm. And let's go to file and create a new project and uh, give your project title uh, here and then click create. Since I'm just created a robot framework project already, so I'm not creating a new project. So once the project has been created, you need to create four directories under robot framework project. In order to create a directory, you need to click on file and click new and then click directory. So, and give the name of the directory so that the new directory will get created. Since I am, since I'm already created uh, uh, four directories, I'm not going to create again. So let us uh, uh, walk through uh, all these uh, directories. One is a resource directory, another one is a results directory, and another one is a, a robo test directory and uh, utilities directory. So first let us talk about uh, robot uh, tests. So robot test directory uh, basically uh, contains the flow of a test case. So just let me uh, click on the robot file to see what it has. So if you see here, uh, it has the test case flow. So it has uh, three uh, different uh, sections. Uh, one is settings, uh, variables, and test cases. So here we were basically seeing uh, the flow of the test case. So you need to create this directory and to define your test case flow. So this is the uh, folder structure. You need to have a directory under which you need to create uh, your robot uh, test script in which you need to uh, create your test case flow. All right. So let us move it to a uh, resource directory. Uh, resources directory uh, basically uh, contains uh, the page objects and also uh, the test app for dot robot file. So let us uh, deep dive on it. Let me click on uh, uh, page objects and then and then click on home page dot uh, robot. So if you look into uh, this robot file here, uh, we are actually uh, writing the uh, logic uh, uh, of uh, home page. So here basically uh, we are navigating to home page in order to navigate it. And so we are uh, opening a browser and uh, we are writing a verify title uh, uh, keyword. And also we are uh, uh, written here, uh, verify page loaded keywords. Here we are uh, really, uh, you know, written uh, three keywords and also uh, respective uh, uh, web elements in order to you know, navigate through your application. Uh, basically, uh, we are capturing, uh, you know, all page objects. So now let us move on to test app. What is this uh, test app? Test app uh, is basically uh, contains uh, all keywords per specific project. Say for example, whenever you are working on real time, you cannot only uh, work on single project. You are going to uh, work on multiple projects. If I am just creating one file, and keeping you know all the uh, keywords uh, in one file uh, for different projects so it's going to be uh, complex uh, to maintain uh, you know this robot file uh, this is going to be very large and uh, maintenance is going to be nightmare in order to eliminate that uh, we need to uh, create uh, you know dedicated uh, uh, app uh, file uh, for each one of the project so that's why here I'm created a test app file in which I'm going to have all the keywords respective to that project. In this case, uh, for example, so the project name is test app. So whenever I'm working on a different project, project B, I'm going to create a project B in which I'm going to keep all the keywords. And next directory that I'm created here is results. So in which I am capturing uh, all my uh, test results. And next directory is uh, 
robot tests in which we are going to uh, write our test case flow, which is I just explained. And then uh, we need to have one more directory called utilities and uh, in which uh, we are going to uh, write uh, all common functions. Say for example, uh, start test and end test. When, whenever you are starting your test, uh, you are going to uh, open a blank browser uh, in which you are going to uh, place respective URL. So, so that's what this uh, started does and which is common uh, across uh, all your uh, applications. So that's why I have uh, written uh, uh, this function uh, in the common functions and calling this one wherever is required and also close all browsers. So I'm, I'm closing all the uh, browsers once my test is complete. These two keywords will be called to uh, my, uh, you know, uh, primary test so that uh, this will bring up the browser and once test execution is complete and the end test is going to close all the browsers. So you can create, uh, you know, and more uh, directories as required. Say for example, I wanted to integrate uh, uh, this application with auto IT uh, to do desktop testing. In this case, you are going to, you know, uh, create auto IT directory under which you are going to keep all your uh, auto IT respective files. Likewise, you can uh, uh, create, uh, you know, API testing directory uh, to keep API files like that. So this is how uh, we create a folder structure uh, whenever uh, you are implementing robot framework in real time. All right, guys, uh, that's all uh, I have for uh, uh, this video tutorial. In next video, I will talk about uh, how to create keywords and also how to create uh, reusable keywords. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this video uh, is going to uh, help you uh, to create a folder structure uh, to implement a, a robot framework. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.